Okay, I don't know if you heard the news, but Metro's Expo line is beginning pre-revenue service starting on Monday. Pre-revenue essentially means Metro will start running the Expo line at normal intervals, normal speed, and everything, except you don't get to get on the train for another six weeks. And after that, we're good for opening. This has to be good news, I mean, considering the line was delayed for over two years. Now, a lot of that is Metro's incompetence. I think we all established that by now. But you can't possibly expect a government to run, you know, trouble-free. Personally, if my government started running without any issues whatsoever, I'd start wondering if I somehow died without knowing and I'm now in heaven. Point being, cost overruns and delays are to be expected for any government project. Besides, the majority of the cost overruns for the Expo line actually went on to fund new stuff like that aerial station at Culver City. Metro will definitely learn from the Expo line and become more efficient as time goes on and new lines get built. But Metro is not the only guilty party here. Over half of the delay was not caused by Metro or the contractor or anyone else but your own selfish neighbors. These people are called the Neighbors for Smart Rail, and, and their primary goal here is to make the light rail as inaccessible as possible so that people get the hell out of their streets. Now, I find that to be very selfish. Sure, it's your neighborhood, but it's not literally yours. It's built with public funds, therefore the public can walk on your streets if they want to. Basically, these are a bunch of rich soccer moms who think that gangsters will ride the train and come to their neighborhood and beat up their kids and that they will have a tougher time getting on the freeway because they'll have to wait at the railroad crossing for the train to pass. I know, what the hell, right? Fortunately, the judges feel the same way and all of their lawsuits against Metro was pretty much dismissed because they really don't have any argument against Metro. But still, they managed to set the project back at least a few months. And also, they managed to add this station, Farmdale. Now, as you can see, it's only half a mile from La Brea and about the same distance to Crenshaw. So I think it's safe to say that we really don't need the station. So why do we have it? It's because of this place, Dorsey High School. Basically, the station is designed so that the trains will have to stop completely at Farmdale before crossing at a very low speed. Therefore, no kid from Dorsey is going to get run over. That's incredibly stupid. I mean, sure, there are a lot of stupid people in this country who don't know what a train is, but if this happened at my high school, I would feel insulted because putting in this station would be like the adult's way of saying that I do not have enough intelligence to realize that I should not jump in front of a train even though we already have the sidewalk gate, the road crossing gate, and the warning bells already put in place at every intersection. That they have to put a station there and make trains stop for me because I wouldn't know how to deal with it otherwise. So bottom line, you don't even trust these kids with crossing a railroad. But somehow, a few years later, they might land a job at NASA and you're gonna give them control of your spaceships? Really? Now, the ultimate goal of these nut jobs is to put the entire expo line underground. Really, underground. You're talking about a railroad that has seen continuous service from 1875 all the way to 1987 without incident. And we're not talking about red cars. We're talking about freight train. Really? So you had a 25 car freight train running at 60 miles an hour, rattling the ground, and you're not afraid. But then a little dinky light rail comes along, and suddenly you're scared, you want to put it underground, and spend billions of our taxpayer money on something as foolish as this? I don't think so. And no one thought so. Which is why they dropped this idea for both phase one, which is about to be done, and phase two, which is under construction. So now they have a new idea. They want to put 15 foot high sound walls along the entire route of the expo line. 15 feet. That's how tall the freeway sound walls are. 
but freeways are noisy. Here's what a light rail train sounds like when it's passing by. Yup, you heard it. Nothing. A light rail train is silent. The only noise a light rail makes is the ringing of the bells at the intersections, which yours truly made Metro put up in the first place. So, I want you to end your pathetic babbling about random crap today and just enjoy and celebrate the expo line like everyone else has. And if you truly don't like the line, move somewhere else. I'm sure you'll fetch a really high price on your house because there are other people who actually enjoy the benefits of mass transit. And this also goes to folks who plan to resist other lines in the future. The people of Los Angeles overwhelmingly decided that they want more transit and they want it now. And in any democracy, the will of the people will always triumph over the selfishness of the few. So in essence, Expo opening probably April if nothing else comes up. Neighbors for Smart Rail, please don't make something come up because it's getting old. So thanks for watching and long live the Expo line.